All right, everyone. Potato. Boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew. Most of you will get the reference. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the Drake equation, actually, more than anything else. I believe that evolution um, entails the Drake equation. That is that evolution favors competition. Living species, they tend to compete with one another. Well, they destroy one another on a regular basis. That's basically their goal. As such, the Drake equation is easily solved. And that is that uh, species that become too advanced because they tend to intercompete, generally speaking, they destroy themselves. That is with nuclear weapons or some other sort of technology, bioweapons, uh, it doesn't really make a difference. And they tend to destroy other species in proximity to them uh, if they are capable of doing so. For example, you would think of a situation in which the Earth gets hit by an asteroid that's been seeded with some sort of biochemical agent or something like that. And it wipes out most of the human species. This is actually a believable, plausible scenario when you think about it. Why wouldn't you want to do so? No species is going to get anywhere near the Earth. Why would they want to? It makes absolutely no goddamn sense at all. If they get near Earth, we have a death shroud around our planet containing numerous bacteria, numerous viruses, numerous pollens, uh, and etc., 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 fungal species and everything else under the sun. If a foreign race were to attempt to come to Earth, unless they had hazard suits on, which wouldn't make sense because the Earth is already highly populated, uh, if they uh, were to try to explore it, they would die. Every single one of them would die. That's why I warn against the idea of humans attempting to reach for the stars. If you colonize the moon, that makes sense. Uh, there are resources there and stuff. And we know that there's no alien species there. There doesn't appear to be any bacterial life or anything like that. That's one thing. Mars, for example. That's a little bit further out, but it's doable. Uh, not highly doable, but it is possible with our technology now and certainly will be in the future for us to be able to, for example, colonize it. It's perfectly fine. If we can become a multi-world species, we're probably already in the top 10% with regards to species in general. I have a feeling that most intelligent species, if they become too advanced, they wipe themselves off of the face of their own planet, basically. Um, that's because of competition. It's because of evolution. Evolution favors people fighting one another more than anything else. You fight for a mate. You fight for your life. You fight other creatures, and so forth. It is innate. It is inevitable. It will happen again. As a result, what happens is you end up with species and you do not want to meet space aliens, by the way. Most of them would be highly predatory and exceptionally ingrained into fighting. Well, it would be a little bit difficult to deal with alien species that are ingrained in such a way. That's why they leave our planet alone. This is why I've said over and over again, and I'll say it again, I do not believe that UFOs are flying around Earth or anything like that. Are there other life forms in the universe that are intelligent? Absolutely. Of course there are. Uh, it, uh, we can solve for the Drake equation simply by looking at the statistics involved. You're talking about trillions of galaxies, and you think that the Earth is the only planet that ever enshrined life? That's nonsense. Absolute fucking nonsense. It's absolutely not true. But 
at the same time. Would those life forms, number one, be close enough to actually attempt to explore us? Not necessarily. Number two, would they want to? If they are advanced enough to understand biochemistry and things like that, they wouldn't want to come to our planet. And if they're not advanced enough to understand that, then they're not capable of coming to our planet. It's as simple as that. The only thing that they could do is fire off an asteroid laden with biochemicals or something like that. And, you know, uh, shit, haha, <laughs> let's wipe out these hominids, then we can take over their planet. That would be the only other plausible scenario. So we should uh, be careful, actually. Because they do exist. I guarantee that they exist. There are millions and millions of worlds out there with life on them that is actually self-aware. Millions of them. Probably more, probably billions. Uh, that, that is a certainty, actually. It's, it's at least in the millions range. I guarantee it. Uh, you know, why wouldn't it be? Do you think that this world is special? That the human race is special? Human race doesn't mean jack shit, dude. Unfortunately, in the end, your god does not exist. The human race is retarded, more or less. There are a handful of people on this planet that are high enough functioning that are capable of actual self-thought and things of like that. Uh, there's not a lot going on in this area of the star system. We're in a backwater. Look at the Milky Way, for example. We're on one of the outer bands. If you wanted to find life that was sentient and self-aware, and was sort of, you know, had a thing going on, you'd want to get closer to the center of the galaxy. We're on one of the outer bands, dude. We're a backwater. This is basically the fucking, uh, this is basically the Alabama of the galaxy, honestly. Unfortunately, while our race has managed to generally proceed and create culture and things like that, it's uh, <laughs> nowhere near as uh, advanced as the sort of things that you would find closer to the center of the galaxy. Now, does that mean that we're retarded? Well, I mean, yeah, but uh, no, not in the general sense. We're not retarded. We're capable of functioning. But that's about all we can say about ourselves. Unfortunately, the only thing that we can say is we do have culture. We have the concept of civilization. But we don't have an actual civilization now, do we? In the end, no, we really don't. We have a semblance of civilization. We have the ability to order things according to our interests. We have the ability to design laws. Do they make sense? 90% of the time, the answer is no. Do we have the ability to build infrastructure? Yeah. Does it take a lot longer than it should, even though people left at their own devices would build it themselves? Yeah, un unfortunately, it takes a lot longer than it should. And so on and so on forth. About the best thing about Earth is the food. Yeah, baby. We've <laughs> got plenty of that. And uh, let me tell you, knowing what I particularly know, I won't get into that. Earth food is actually pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, it doesn't even matter if you're an Earth creature, by the way. Um, <laughs> we're known as the cooks of the galaxy, I suppose. Yes, indeed. It's quite fun thinking about these things. I love to think about them. Imagine that all of the uh, sci-fi and stuff that you've watched, eh, Star Trek, Star Wars, stuff like that, imagine that all of that was true. Somewhere in the universe, it is true. It's all real. It's not science fiction. It's science fact. <laughs> Most people will not understand what I'm saying. They'll think that I've 
gone completely insane. That's a good thing. Go ahead. Continue to believe that I'm nuts. Hope that you do. That's about all. Peace out.